All right, let's see. How are you guys doing today? Uh, my name is XF Awkward, and I run a stream. I run a little Facebook page, a YouTube page. Um, League of Legends player. I'm a platinum jungler, a support main. Um, and this is something that I kind of wanted to start doing was just doing like kind of like a daily or every couple of day vlog uh, where I talk about either like things going on in my life or things uh, or just random stuff that I want to talk about in League of Legends. So um, today I thought I would go ahead and start with one of these videos. Um, let's just start out by talking about characteristics of junglers. What makes a jungler a jungler? Right? There's a reason you don't really play Heimerdinger jungle or something crazy like Soraka in the jungle very often or things like that. There's a reason why you see the junglers that you see very frequently. And uh, for people that don't understand why that is, hopefully this will be able to help you out. Uh, so let me go over a few things. Now bear in mind, everything that I say here uh, is not going to pertain to every single champion. Every single champion is going to be different. They've all got different skill sets that work in different ways. Uh, but what I'm trying to do is just go a broad overview of things that you kind of want to like mix and match with so you have a good good thing to work with so um first let's talk about kind of a big important deal and that is being able to actually clear the jungle being able to kill these camps without having much of an issue uh, i refer to this as clear times and basically you want to have a jungler that has a decent or good fast clear time they don't want to spend all their time in the jungle dealing with these little monsters trying to deal or trying to kill them because the longer that you spend in the jungle uh, just trying to get the basic farm and basic gold that you need to get levels and stuff, that's, that's time that you can't spend anywhere else, right? So, in junglers that you see that are very, very good, think like Vi or Lee Sin, uh, Kha'Zix even, uh, they're very, very good at just clearing through the camp very quickly. And a lot of times that's because their abilities are uh, just happen to be well suited for the jungle, right? Uh, Vi is very good about um, clearing through a big monster very quickly because of her percent health damage that she has as well as the attack speed buffs that she gets with it but in addition to that she's got a lot of aoe so it takes out the smaller ones as well so that's why she's kind of a top tier jungler right she doesn't have to spend all the time in the jungle that others do because she can clear through the camps very quickly right okay so fast clear times are definitely helpful but another thing you'll see as a good characteristic of some junglers is being able to sustain on their own now with this new season that we're dealing with um the spirit stone items make it so basically anyone has sustain. Woo! Sustain for everybody. Awesome. Sounds great. Um, but you couple that spirit stone sustain with another sustain portion of a champion. You're looking at a really, really good jungler. Think like Elise, Lee Sin. Uh, do, 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 do. I mean, they're all over the place. I can't really think. Let me think. Uh, I guess Vi to an extent. Basically, somebody that's going to be able to take the damage in. Um, and continue to go through it. Like, actually, there's a lot of junglers that after a certain point, when they get certain items, they can walk right back into the jungle and get all of their health and mana back because of the new spirit stone, the way that it's designed. Um, but if, you do, if you're playing a champion that doesn't have very good sustain whatsoever, um, then you can see that becoming a big issue. That's one of the reasons why you don't see, like, Darius in the jungle. He takes a bunch of damage, right? He takes a ton of damage from these creeps, and he blows through mana potion after mana potion after mana potion. Um, Whereas somebody like Lee Sin, he can shield the damage, and then he's also got a little bit of spell vamp, a little bit of life steal to keep him going in there. Uh, so sustain's a very big deal. If you if you have a champion that can do it, then it's awesome, right? But it's it's not the most important thing. Actually, it's hard to say what's the most important thing, but a lot of people will say that it's whether or not a champion can gank, right? Ganking is being able to provide something very crucial in being able to kill somebody by surprise, right? Whether that's a bunch of damage, whether that's crowd control, whether that's slows, whether that's whatever it may be, right? Um, what it all comes down to is, can this guy really affect a lane? Um, so... Ganking potential doesn't just mean crowd control like some people think, and it doesn't mean just a ton of damage, right? Because think of it this way, right? Elise, or not Elise, uh, Evelyn is a very, very good jungler, right? She's very, very good at ganking, but she brings no crowd control whatsoever pre-6, but she's still very, very good at what she does. However, and then you've got other junglers like Nautilus, who's extremely good at locking somebody down, but he doesn't necessarily bring any damage whatsoever. Um, so... If you can get a mixture of the crowd control and damage, think Lee Sin, think Fi, think Kha'Zix to an extent, he's got a minor slow, um, Wukong, stuff like that, then you're looking at somebody that can 
you know, really impact lanes while still being able to clear through the jungle and still be able to hold around. All right. So ganking potential, very important. Okay, but this is kind of a big deal in this season that it wasn't as much before, and that's whether or not a champion can fight another champion in the jungle or duel them. We're seeing a lot more aggression in the jungle. We're seeing, we're seeing a lot of bruisers and uh, fighters coming out in the jungle, and that's because being able to control the enemy's objectives and their jungle and all of their camps and stuff is kind of becoming a big deal, right? The jungle is a big area where anyone can grab up extra gold, and if you can force somebody out of it because you're stronger than them, then you basically claim that gold for you and your team. Um, this is actually one of the reasons why you've seen a lot of Wukong, why you've seen a lot of Pantheon pop up lately. Um, a bunch of these junglers that we haven't really seen before. The real reason why that is is because they do the stuff that I was talking about before, but in addition to that, they really can fight others well, right? This is one of the main reasons why Maokai is actually a very, very poor jungler right now, is because he's extremely susceptible to being fought and killed in this jungle, because he doesn't bring a whole lot of damage on his own. He can't survive on his own. He requires a team to be with him. Um, so being able to fight and duel in the jungle is very, very important, uh, especially in the higher elos, where people understand how to counter jungle effectively. Um, in addition to that, let's talk about scaling. How well does your champion actually scale throughout the game? And do, is, are they going to need a ridiculous amount of farm to make it work, right? Um, let's stop and think about carries, right? Carry champions that require a lot of farm so they can get to a point where they just demolish people. Think something like Ziggs or an AD carry or anything like that. They're not good junglers because they're not always going to be guaranteed to get all that gold. Yes, they may be able to get a few early ganks off and they may be able to fight people early on, but if they don't scale well later into the game without the promise of being a, getting a bunch of gold, they're not necessarily a good jungler, right? Because you can't guarantee that ganks are always going to work. Yes, you can play champions that gank very well. Yes, you can play champions that fight very well, but there's no guarantee that you're going to get that shutdown gold that you want to get the items that you can. Uh, if you're required to get that kind of stuff, then you're looking at a very inconsistent jungler, and that's not really what you want to be looking for. Um, in one of these instances, I feel like Diana might be in one of those instances, but I'm still doing like a lot of research with her, so we'll see how that is. But let's talk about one last thing that's very important for junglers, um, or for, for a lot of junglers. Not every jungler has to have this, uh, but utility. What do they bring to a team that others can't, right? One of the easiest examples I can give you guys is Amumu. Amumu is a very, very good jungler. Um, as you all wait, or as you may well all know, um, although he's very susceptible and he doesn't really fight too well on his own, he brings a massive AOE stun that can potentially lock up five people, and then he's got a single target stun, which is also good. And as in addition to that, he brings a good chunk of damage on his own. Uh, but the main reason why you pick a Mumu is for that five-man stun. That's really what you're looking for, right? That kind of utility is really good for ganking. It's really good for objective control in the Dragon Pit. Nobody wants to fight a Mumu when he's sitting around his whole team in full health right there. Um, as well as, like, in the enemy jungle, right? He's, he's a very good presence because he does all the other stuff pretty well that I was talking about, enough to get by. And if he can get to that point where his utility shines, uh, then that's important, right? So when I say utility, you want to find something that's uh, not necessarily damage, not necessarily uh, fighting stuff, but something like crowd control or a unique factor to the team um, that no matter what happens, you're still going to have that, right? Um, so... All of these things are very, very important to having a good jungler, right? If, if you find a champion that doesn't really have a lot of these uh, characteristics, they're probably not very good. And if they are still good junglers, it's because they excel greatly at one of these uh, things. So hopefully that helps give you a little bit of a better idea of how junglers uh, are developed and what they should be when you try to pick one. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can, and hopefully this helps you guys just a little bit. Deuces!